Welcome back to Learn SKN and today we have a very interesting video for you. Now this video is another video in the long running saga of CXC and their 2020 examination. Now this video is going to highlight some interesting, something interesting that was posted on CXC's Facebook page. Now we come to, it seems as though CX is tired of taking the brunt to all of this abuse, this verbal abuse and whatnot. CX is ready to fight back. And so CX decided to post a number of facts or frequently asked questions on their Facebook page for all of those who have questions about, you know, the validity and their exams and all that kind of stuff. So let's jump into the four facts that we see here and see if CX got a leg to stand on or not. All right. So the first one, question. I received ungraded for my CX examination. What does this mean? So CX said, okay, everybody want to know what ungraded means? Let's have some transparency. What ungraded means is ungraded indicates that the SBA, multiple choice paper, or supporting documents were not submitted on behalf of the candidate. So CX is saying the reason why you get ungraded is because your SBA, multiple choice paper, our supporting documents were not submitted on behalf of you, the candidate. And so in these cases, you could, should contact the school or local registrar office to submit a query. Most importantly, candidates are not required to pay for this service. Kindly note that the deadline for submitting ungraded queries is February is Friday, 23rd October 2020 so people you have roughly one week to go and file your query if you got an ungraded now people say no that whole schools received ungraded and stuff like that and so CX is saying that somewhere along the line somewhere along the chain somebody failed to submit your supporting documents somebody somewhere CX is saying ain't our fault somebody in the chain of command failed to submit your documents your sbas your multiple choice paper and or uh, the supporting documents that's what they're saying here to me eh? that's what they're saying to me everybody's saying they're ungraded somebody's at fault not cxc now let's be honest here the C the sbas because of covid they were basically a moving target so one time you had a deadline then it changed and it kept changing even i was a little confused as to when exactly is the deadline for my sbas because i had mine ready ready to go at the initial deadline then COVID happened then I hear in different dates different times so it was a little bit confusing so maybe perhaps the candidates um, the center or the Ministry of Education or school or whatever might have missed the deadline the latest deadline or something along the line so CX is saying it's free right now so if you had an ungraded submit the queries it's free but you have until next week so they posted this a week before it's due all right, so they're saying don't blame us. Look and see what happened along the chain of command, and then you know you can query it. So I could see where six is coming from with this one. They are saying it might not be a default, might be along the chain of command. Uh, whatever. Look, see what's going on in your school, in your center, in your country, and then you know check us and see what's going on. Don't come at us for the ungraded unless you check everybody else. That's CX right there. That's why I read from that fact right there. Next one. Now this one here. This one here is the to me the most interesting one here of the bunch. This one here. Let's read it. Question: Based on the SBA score submitted by my school, my grade should be higher. Why is it not that case? What CX is saying here. It is important to note that the SBA score submitted to CX by a school is not the final grade. CXC moderates, moderates the SBA to ensure that the assessment of the work is aligned to the standard of assessment defined by CXC. This year, all centers and all subjects were moderated. Now this one right here, CXC train real shade here. CXC train real shade here. Because let, let, let me just say one thing. As it relates to the SBA, we all know it. Some schools use the SBA, some centers use the SBA to get a leg up. They act, some people actually, people make up marks to submit the highest because you, you can't tell me that in a center, if you have 50 candidates, all 50 getting perfect scores on SBAs, all 50 getting near perfect scores. So maybe what happened this year, you know, normally what would happen is that CXC would ask for a, a sample. They would ask for five, you know, five SBAs from, from a center. And then they might not even ask 
all the subjects or all the centers within a certain territory. They might just ask one or two random schools or centers and one or two random su subjects. In certain years, your subject ain't get moderated at all. You understand? So sub subject don't get moderated at all. But this year, CXC moderated all centers in the territories and all subjects. And in addition, CXC employed, I think they had more moderators this year and different ways of moderating. It was um, a little more digital and stuff like that to expedite the process. And so a lot of the, a lot of the moderators were very, very objective because they had no horse in the race. They are not affiliated with any center or anything like that. Because to be honest, some moderators and centers are real chums, right? They're chummy chummy. So CX might have seen some issues, some shenanigans going on with SBAs this year, all that happening for years, and, and stop and think and say, like, wait, something off with this. Everybody can't be getting perfect grades, perfect scores. Something is off. And so maybe the moderator would have seen something looking a little suspect and then decided to, you know, adjust the grade accordingly. You want to put it like that. Because some schools, some centers use the SBA as a way to, you know, you know, massage the overall score a bit. You know, that's the that's the real thing to help you get into the door to almost guarantee a one or whatever. So maybe this year CX is saying, hmm, we see what's going on, we put a stop to it. Alright? And so this one, this fact is very, very interesting. Alright, the third one. The question I received an absent for for go back to this. Let me go back one. As you can see here, you cannot really query that right there. All right, just like that. You can't query that per se. You have to do a full on query and you have to pay for it as we'll see later. Next one. I received an absent for my CX examination, although I sat my exam in person. Why is that? And the answer if you attended your examination but still received absent, you may submit a query and present your examination receipt to your school or ministry of education. Candidates are not required to pay for this service. Kindly note that the deadline for submitting absent queries is Friday, 20. Friday 23rd, October 2020. Again, you have a week. Now, hear me. If you know for a fact that you sat down in that exam room in person and not in spirit or mind, but in person, did the exam, studied individual, individually to take up your paper, then you have a legit case. If they got absent on your transcript, you have a legit case. It's not gonna cost you anything. So make sure you have your receipt and query because you know you were there you did the exam something would have gone to miss somewhere you have your receipt make the query it's free don't just blast social media whatever put words into action query it it's free you have a week get it done let's see what happens you have nothing to lose you have everything to gain so if you know you got an absent and you know you were there in person not spirit did the work then you have a legit case and you should submit a query then we have this one here this last one here what is a what is a script review and how do I request one CXC said if you have questions about the grade you received and would like to have your script reviewed you may submit a request for a script review via your school or ministry of education the cost per script review is 30 US dollars all right, 30 US dollars. You do the conversion to EC, that's 2.71 times 30. So you do the conversion in Jamaica, you do your, your conversion. Trinidad, the same thing, do your conversion, you know what is what. All right, if your script review results in an increase in your overall grade, you will be refunded the script review fee. Candidates should note that the deadline for submission of the request for script review is, repeat after me, Friday, 23rd October, 2020. You got a week to get this done. But you realize it's going to cost you. So if you're sure, 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 sure that is an issue with your script and the other facts don't answer the questions for you, you're gone and you ask your, your center, well, what happened? You all did not submit my, my, my SBA. You all did not submit, you know, the paperwork necessary for me to, and I got an ungraded. Then you spend the money, query your, your script, and then let's see what happens. All right. So CXC basically covering their backs in this case, putting out the facts. If you fall in line with any of these, submit the query, especially if it costs you nothing, and let's see what happens. All right, so yes, very interesting development. 
maybe CX is getting a little tired of all of the negative press, the negative publicity. And so they realize that, okay, all this might not be all false. It could be the fault of the centers, the fault of the countries, the Ministry of Education, whatever. So CX is basically saying, we stand behind what we did. And if you have an issue, come at us. That's what CX is saying. Come at us. With these facts, come at us. It's free for, to query these things. So do it. We don't have nothing to say now. Do what you have to do. The only issue here would be the 30 US, and that's just if you want a script review. Where if you got ungraded, free. If you got an absent and you weren't, free. And so jump on it, get it done. All right, so very, very interesting um, post by CXC today. <laughs> Thursday Thoughts, CXC Plane, Thursday Thoughts. And so you see a lot of people, some people upset, a few people love this, some people just, you know, a little angry. Well, if you're angry and you fall into category here, all you have to do, query. And so we have some thumbs up, a lot of thumbs up, because the honest, to be honest, we ask CXC for transparency. And so in my opinion, in my, in my mind, this is some level of transparency. They did not show you how this sausage is made exactly, but they actually revealed something. And so they gave you something, do what you have to do before the deadline comes and see what happens all right so let me hear from you down in the comment section do you think six is basically out of order with these facts basically throwing shades saying that in our fault is somebody else's fault you know passing the buck do you think six is just passing the buck to somebody else let me know what you think do you think they're in the right do you agree with this approach this level of transparency that they present here do you agree with that do you so yeah so but do you want people to put the money where the mouth is if you feel as do you did that good or uh, whatever idea you ask for a review let's see what happens all right so that's it for me for now all right so you know what to do like subscribe and stay tuned to learn skn so you can you know apart from the lecture videos and the past papers you can have some updates as to whatever cxc might be up to all right so thanks for watching thanks for listening